A big problem in all transition planning is getting over the idea that your guy and your team has some experience relevant to being the president-elect and the president. The presidency is not anything like anything. The most important thing that the president can do as soon as he wakes up is name his chief of staff, and he's probably already done that. For the staff, it's about managing this tsunami of presidential wannabes, people who are putting their resumes forward, people are making recommendations, calling in, trying to get positions in the government. Many president-elects do this, they sequester themselves. They're trying to gain accurate information about the budget and accurate information about the state of the economy and national threats and all that sort of stuff. They're trying to take all that in. But they're also um, very much trying to build an operation that looks something like a White House. There's a couple of meetings that, that are held between the president-elect and the outgoing president. They're mostly ceremonial. At the sub-president level, there's a lot of coordination going on. There's an interleaving of the staffs on the inauguration day um, so that there's a, an easy outgoing of the previous administration and a, and a substantial standing up of the current administration. The first lady needs to know about the domestic staff, which is quite substantial in size and probably not anything they're used to. The president Elect Obama and George W. Bush, outgoing president, set the bar. President-elect Obama spent a good deal of his campaign running against George W. Bush. And George W. Bush was not unaware of that fact. But this was the thing, a time when duty calls and uh, they rise to the occasion. Clinton's campaign, uh, they spent too much time focused on uh, settling on the cabinet and they didn't put the White House staff first. Carter had completely separate transition planning, but they weren't integrated into the campaign. One good lesson from the Reagan transition is that uh, you have to plan ahead and you have to have a team separate from the campaign doing the planning. The original advice was get rid of the, jettison the campaign. One of the, I think one of the most important things that we've discovered and pass on and have really reversed is that notion. And so what they need is really two sets of people, people who can say, yes, I understand the president. I know why we are here. I know how we got here. I know how he got here. I know what he thinks. And there is another group of people who need to be able to say, this is how Washington works.